Next morning, it's Jason's turn at Brockett Deer, but the day begins a bit better than it did for Greg, with an almost immediate sighting. Jason's having good luck seeing deer, but the bucks are still proving to be the winners in this deadly game of hide and seek. Jason's third sighting also proves to be another female. At this point, Jason's nerves are on edge and he's more than ready to pull down on a nice buck. If only they can find one. Suddenly, Jason catches sight of movement, and he pulls up, ready to go it alone if he can just ID his target. Is this finally the chance he's been waiting for? We just busted one. It's so thick in here, it's really hard to see. And one came right 10 yards within us and busted out. Try again. Another exciting morning. We saw about three or four brocket deer, but boy, those things are small and quick, and this is really thick terrain. So if you want a great, fun, challenging hunt, give it a shot, but we didn't get it done today. It's all right. We'll try it again another time. Now that Greg knows the drill, he faithfully follows his guide back into the thick stuff in which these tiny and elusive deer make their home. Greg and the gaucho are seeing deer, but they're all females, until... We just saw the biggest buck we've seen since we've been here. Big body, big neck, really good horns. Um, but as soon as we came around the corner, it was just flying through the brush. I mean, these guys are really, really spooky. Took a few more steps, and we saw his girlfriend standing right here. We could just get one of these males to cooperate like she is. They much out a lot easier, but these guys are tough, tough, tough. Then, as they enter a slight clearing, the gaucho suddenly locks up like a German shorthair. Just ahead, a male deer is cutting across the open, and it is up to Greg to make the shot. Greg and the gaucho quickly follow up before the deer disappears into the undergrowth. The hit was a good one, but the guys know that it won't take much cover to hide a deer this small. Luckily, it doesn't take long for the hunters to find the little buck, which is down for the count. <laughs> Ooh. Sí, sí, qué bonito. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Man, these are pretty little animals. Ahí está el tiro, man. Sí. Perfecto. Muy difícil porque están muy pequeños. Mm -hmm. They're very little, little animals. They look even tiny in the scope. And they're not a whole lot in the horn department, but, you know, the challenge of these guys is the hunt. Uh, one of the few distinctive features about this animal is, uh, first, that their back legs are taller than their front legs. Uh, and you can definitely see that when you're looking at the animal walking along. Well, that's where they get all that power when you see them tearing through the brush, huh? That's right. Um, and also that their, their antlers aren't very tall. They only get to about six inches, maybe seven. Um, and uh, this is um, a young male 
but still a good animal. And the other interesting thing is that they don't lose their antlers every year. Really? Yeah, so they keep growing. This is probably the most unique deer that the fusion bullet has taken. And as you can see, even in that short window of opportunity for expansion, we got a great exit wound. Yeah, we sure did. It was programmed to do exactly what it did, and we're pleased with it. This is the first animal taken with that actual load. So oh, that's cool. Pretty, congratulations. Well, that is cool. I know the rocket deer isn't a whole lot of a test of the bullet, but I shot this little um, CZ 550 full stock at the range. Um, it was grouping about a half an inch with the new load, so it's very accurate. Well, Hoosty, <laughs> mm -hmm. I know you guys are probably thinking it wasn't going to happen. We've been chasing these little guys for a couple of days now. Um, these jungles aren't very easy to hunt, and um, I really was the tail end of the productive part of the day. I was kind of surprised we got on it, but this guy cooperated. He, he was out in the open for just a second. I was able to put a shot on him, and I know people watching at home probably look at this deer, and they look at those little horns, and and they don't it's get it. It's not the trophy right. people expect. But right. but the trophy here is the hunt. I mean, you really, really have to work for these guys. And I, I'm familiar with them. I've seen them before. I've mm -hmm. never hunted them. But I even really wasn't prepared for how difficult these were to hunt. And we were talking about it in camp the other night. And I don't think I've ever seen a brocket deer taken on television. So, Right. We got pretty lucky this time. I mean, the brocket deer we saw earlier, they disappeared before we could get a gun up and certainly before the camera was rolling. Um, but somehow you had time to drop to a knee and we got the image all on film. Um, it happened just right over here. It was pretty lucky. I did have my doubts, <laughs> but, but we got it. And you know, as you said, the hunt is really the trophy. Right on, good job, man. Thanks. Way to go. Thanks a lot. Thank you.